guys, this is Easter. Right, so I'll be sharing my testimony today and how Christ saved me. So my voice is shaking because I'm nervous. So I'm not emotional. Maybe so. Okay. Um, I grew up in a Christian home to parents who loved and feared God. I fooled myself into thinking that because I lived in a Christian home, grew up with Christian morals, and intellectually knew the gospel, that I was saved. Yet, I did not truly understand my need for a savior because I did not see myself as a sinner. In middle school, I began struggling with sexual sins, and sometimes people ask me when I share my testimony how it all started. And I tell them that really it was because, um, really, it was nothing but the utter depravity of my soul. During those years, I knew that what I was doing was not right, that it was completely against God and what he commanded of me. But I believed that with sheer human will and strength, I could free myself from this sin, make myself guilt-free, and continue on living life. But that did not happen. It was by God's divine providence that this hidden and destructive sin was discovered by my family. I still remember that day, how dirty, unworthy, and depraved I felt. The weight of the guilt was heavy, not because someone had found out, but because I knew that standing before God, I was unrighteous and deserving of punishment. Um, it was that guilt that led me to know Jesus Christ. The one, only, the only one who could cleanse me from my unrighteousness and be my righteousness. And it was during that time and months following that I understood the extent of Christ's sacrifice on the cross and resurrection and how that all applied to me, a sinner, but in need of a savior. God showed me his abounding mercy, grace, and forgiveness. Though I was so prideful in thinking and though I knew him but did not honor him, and in doing so rejected him, denying him as my Savior and Lord. I know that's right. God chose to make me a new creation in Christ. Second Corinthians 5.17 reminds me that therefore if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, the old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God. <laughs> who through Christ reconciled us to himself. Uh, after accepting Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, I still struggled with believing that God had forgiven me fully and that this forgiveness was not based on my merit. I would wrestle with finding the balance between serving the Lord out of a heart of obedience, love, and worship rather than a hard desire to work for my righteousness. Though I would not admit it, I definitely had underlying doubts that God could ever forgive me completely and that I was truly made new. However, God shepherded my heart with his truth from his word. I grew over time to learn that my salvation is not earned, but rather a gift. I learned to hope in Christ, who is my righteousness, rather in myself, and praise God that Christ is because on my own, all my deeds to earn righteousness would be but an offering of filthy bags. I continue to hold on to the promises from his word day in and day out that bring great freedom and joy. And those being that his character is unchanging, it does not wax and wane like that of humans. He is who he says he is, and in his word, in his word, he tells me that he's a compassionate God, he is merciful, He's gracious, he's slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not keep his anger forever, and that as far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove my transgressions from me. And finally, that it is he who works in me, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Um, and Pastor John also asked me to share a little bit about how my time at LBC LA has been. So um, I've been at LBC LA for four years now, and 
Um, there's just been a couple of things that I've been really most encouraged by during my four years at this church. Um, three, so first one is the commitment to teaching God's word day by day. Um, also, how many individuals here are an example to me of living out their faith in their daily walks and daily life. Um, there's really no greater joy for me to see members in spite of a variety of really challenging circumstances still choose to honor him, praise God, trust him, and worship him. And to me, it's a really a, a reflection of God's faithfulness in all of our lives as believers. And finally, believing, I learned that being a Christian, being a believer, is not about a life of solitude and isolation. Um, I'm generally a really keep to myself kind of individual, like very mellow. Um, and so this is really an area that being at LBCLA has grown me in. I've been learning the joy of importance and importance of walking through life with other believers, learning to share my burdens and weaknesses, struggles, and joys, and also to bear the burdens and struggles and to rejoice in the joys of the Christian walk with other believers here as well. Thank you for your time.